you know, regarding the Old Testament, it's probably the most accurately reproduced ancient text in the whole world. Scribes took care because they really thought they were they're writing God's word. They got to be careful with it. And we know the accuracy of the text is beyond reproach for at least 2,500 years because we found the Dead Sea Scrolls and it's, everything's pretty precise. And then there's the New Testament. We possess enough of the writings of the early church leaders who wrote about the first hundred years of Christ's resurrection to be able to reproduce the Gospels and the letter of Paul and John. So all the writings written by people quoting the New Testament in the first hundred years could be taken and you could reproduce pretty much every book of the New Testament. There are over 20,000 handwritten manuscripts of the New Testament from the first centuries of Christianity. They're written in Coptic, they're written in Greek, Latin, Syriac, and other languages. There are 5,700 New Testament Greek manuscripts known to exist. And some of those were written within about 100 years of Jesus' resurrection. We do not have the original New Testament texts as actually written by Luke, Paul, John, and the others. The autographed copies, if you will. We don't have them. But we've got copies of them from so close to the time the originals were written. The scribes of the New Testament, sometimes working at a furious pace because they were rushing to beat Roman soldiers coming to burn what they had, they made occasional errors. But we know those errors are grammatical and punctuation. The, the, there are no errors of substance in the New Testament. Bart Ehrman is a agnostic atheist. He actually studied under Bruce Medsker, who, like F.F. F. Bruce, is noted for his scholarship of biblical texts. And Nehemiah writes that though he has textual criticism of Scripture, his criticism doesn't actually stand at odds with people like Metzger and F.F. F. Bruce that the essential Christian beliefs are not affected by textual variant, variants in the manuscripts. When an agnostic atheist like Ehrman agrees with highly respected Christian scholars like Bruce Metzger that the essential Christian beliefs are not affected by textual variants, you probably ought to pay attention to that. One of the essential Christian beliefs that we focus on in the Christmas season is the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. It is a foundational belief to Christianity. Now, I suspect there are people out there who don't believe it, but those are also the people who don't believe in the resurrection. I actually believe both of them are true. I believe that it, it, fundamental tenets of Christianity involve the virgin birth, the physical, actual resurrection of Jesus, and the Trinity, two of which are explicit in the Bible, one of which is implicit throughout the whole of Scripture. We've got thousands and thousands of early manuscripts of the New Testament. We've got lots and lots of early documentation of the Gospel of Luke written within about 100 to 200 years of Jesus' birth. We have more copies of scripture written within 200 years of Jesus' birth than we have for any of the Roman emperors. Think about that. Or I, I, I guess I should say the early Roman emperors. By Constantine, you've got a lot of Christian scribes who are writing at the time and their works are preserved. But we've got lots of copies of Luke and all of them very consistently maintain the virgin birth narrative. There is no translation error in that stuff. And so I would submit to you that that if you take the virgin birth out of it, you're taking real Christianity out of, out of what we believe this Christmas season. And so I would just tell you, um, with everything else going on in the world, it, it, we should be focusing on what this season means. And one of the things this season means is that for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And I think we as people of faith, if you are listening and you are a person of faith, you can take that to the bank as the, no pun intended, gospel truth of what this season is about.